Join me for a week of workouts that have helped me gain muscle and tone up in a realistic way. I used to fear lifting weights because I thought that it was going to make me bulky or puffy, but let me tell you, that is so far from the truth. Now I feel like that was fed to me by companies that wanted to sell me fad diets and weight loss supplements. I feel like the truth was hidden so that someone somewhere could continue to make a profit off of my insecurities. In reality, strength training is what really helped me see results and actually feel confident in my body. So a lot of these exercises you can do completely without weights, especially if you're a beginner, but I do recommend adding weight and practicing progressive overload as you become more comfortable. I also used to view working out as something I had to do to change myself. I viewed working out in such a negative way as if something was wrong with me, so I had to exercise to change it. And it's obviously easier said than done to get out of this mindset. And I swear it took me three years to actually enjoy working out and to feel empowered by my strength rather than feeling depleted and depressed. But progress is never linear and that's why I do think consistency is key because it's gonna take some time until you feel comfortable doing some exercises and it's also gonna take some time to retrain your mindset around working out. It takes consistency to show up and to reward yourself and say, look at how strong I am, look at me go, rather than, oh, I have to go work out. Ugh, like I am so blah, blah, blah. And really reshaping the negative into something more positive and motivating. Also, something that really helped me is I like to pulse at the end of an exercise just to really work that muscle out until failure because I really feel like this just rips it a little extra. <laughs> and of course, nutrition is just as important, so I'm also sharing with you in this video some of my post-workout meals that I had after these workouts just to give you an idea of what a balanced meal could look like, but I'm all about adding rather than taking away, so I'm never for restriction of any kind. A smoothie after a workout is just the best thing ever. Sometimes when I'm working out and it's really hot, all I do is crave this. I had chicken dumplings simply because I was craving them as well as that protein smoothie that was packed full of vitamins and fiber. The next day, I took a break from lower body and really went to focus on upper body and also just added in some cardio because I was feeling it. Personally, what works best for me when creating like a workout schedule is I like to run myself through a circuit. So I'll have a certain amount of exercises and I'll do them all consecutively and then repeat it in three rounds. Because today was back focus and I'm really trying to get my pull up, I started with practicing my pull ups and then moving on to some back exercises. Look, tell them these notes here, give us hope. And if you ask the people in the pews, it's the antidote. I wipe my worries in a prayer, then I let it go. Gather my vegetables, you know how the record go. I mentioned earlier that I was so resistant to weight training because I was afraid it was gonna make me bulky. And I never used to train my arms for that reason. I used to be told that I had puffy arms for my size and I was really insecure about how my arms looked. But the funny thing is actually training arms made them lean out and made them look more toned. So I think that is such a big misconception. I genuinely think the only way to see results and to also just feel confident in yourself is to overall train your entire body and also train in different ways. You know, go from slow, steady weight training to occasional upbeat, fast hit workouts. But that is also just my opinion and what's worked best for me. I try to have a well-rounded kind of workout routine, but in the end, it's up to you. It's your body, it is your life. It all comes down to what kind of lifestyle, what foods do you enjoy, what workouts make you feel energized. Side note, this is my favorite sweet and savory high protein combo.
and rest is just as important. I actually don't weight train every single day, but this week I was for the purposes of this video. But as you noticed, I actually trained different body parts on each day so that I'm letting the other section rest. And in that way, if you're trying to be more consistent with just showing up to the gym and making that a habit every single day, you're not gonna get burnt out by feeling sore and overworking your entire body. And instead, it's easier to break it into body parts or different segments. Also, another technique that really helped me was going until failure and then doing the regressive exercise. So for example, push-ups and then push-ups from knees. I finished up this workout with a quick ab circuit of different plank variations. I try to go to a workout class maybe once a week just to switch up my workout routine, so that's what I did. I went to F45 and then had one of my favorite post-workout snacks. As you've already seen, I integrate abs pretty well into my workouts, but I like to have one day once a week where I have a fully ab-focused day with a little bit of cardio. And the key to getting a good ab workout is pushing your lower back against the ground like I was showing before to make sure your core is engaged and really trying to move more slowly through the exercises. I find that not using momentum to fling yourself up or to you know lift your legs is actually much more effective. For this workout, I repeated these five exercises twice. And I am not much of a runner, but I'm just trying to do it once in a while, you know, listen to a good song and go on a quick little run. Something I haven't mentioned yet is my favorite form of cardio is walking and I try to do that every day, but once a week I go on a long hike or a long walk with a friend. This day, my friend and I walked and got coffee and then also went to try a bagel place that was so good, but really hard to eat with all the toppings. <laughs> it's currently Sunday noon and I haven't worked out at all this weekend, but that's okay. These are my two little rest days for my week of workouts. I am meeting someone to go play frisbee with and that'll be like a little workout in a way. Um, just like walking around and throwing a frisbee can actually feel quite active, so I'm excited about it. Also, this is the first time I've ever styled my hair like this and I really, I really like it. I feel like I should do this more often. It's really cute. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this week of workouts video. Let me know in the comments if you end up trying any of my workouts or exercises, and I'll see you in the next YouTube video.